they haven't done anything wrong their whole lives, but they haven't been dealt a, a good hand, so to speak. And so I, I feel like we can get them early enough and really kind of help them. We can almost change their lives. When he gets you one, but not what you need. When you feel so tired, but you can't sleep. Stuck in. I think it's just something that everybody can wear. It's kind of like a, a, a reminder, an everyday reminder. You kind of look down and it's there. I don't, I don't know if I really pay attention to the term role model too much. You know what's a better feeling than that? Is when you're the one hitting it real hard. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really think of it that way. High five with Andy, 22 is really good. It sounds corny, but you just want to present yourself in a way that would make your friends and family proud of you. It's okay if I sign a shirt? Yeah, he wanted it. Okay, I, I just don't want to ruin a shirt. <laughs> You do have kids that look up to you, and you know uh, when you when you do get a chance to be face to face, when you don't really want to disappoint. You can hold a tennis event one night, and you know bring in a couple hundred thousand dollars for you know help some kids get school uniforms. And I mean that's 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 I don't think that's anything special at all. Oh, I, cool. I, I think that's what you should do. The heart and soul of our foundation is my mother Blanche Roddick. She does not work for this foundation. She lives it and breathes it. I wanted to follow in the footsteps of people like Billie Jean King, Andre Agassi, and Arthur Ashe. They were champion tennis players, and that's fine. They are bigger champions in life, and that's what really matters. My mom promised she would help in any way. She has kept that promise every day for the last eight years. I don't think you can you can teach or you can package the type of energy and, and excitement that Andy has. I mean, he has a natural desire to compete and to want to win. He loves the competition. I mean, he loves to go out there and, and, and get it on. He's kind of funny. It looks like a mouse. <laughs> okay. I just stuck my finger in an electrical socket this morning. <laughs> Do you want some help? Some tennis help? Some coaches? From? From me? No. Because I know. Here in front of people and, and kind of performing and trying to get laughs out of people. Oh, <laughs> the McEnroe impersonation is, is uh, he has such a distinct style that's easy, easily identifiable. <laughs> yeah. Hey, put some creatine in mine. Hey, let me finish my Because I can't sing and dance. But... I didn't realize you were such a big fan of mine that you, actually, you took my cardboard uh, Ellen to an event with you, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not proud, but it happens. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I, I, could, I, couldn't, I couldn't actually make it out to the show ever, so... There's me, my charity event last year. Um, I'm walking around with a cardboard cutout of Ellen. She was my date. Now, this is, this is between you and me. I don't want you giving this to Nadal or any of the other guys. I don't think he wants me to give it to him either. 